Balancing Environmental Conservation and Development, the Ecoside Debate. The Maya Train Project in Mexico, a bid to connect tourists with the rich Maya heritage, has sparked a fierce debate. Concerns loom over its potential environmental and cultural repercussions. This controversy brings to light the concept of ecocide and the global movement to make environmental harm a criminal offense. Let's delve into the world of ecocide. The term itself, rooted in Greek and Latin, signifies the killing of one's home or harming the environment. In June 2021, a group of legal experts defined ecocide as unlawful or reckless actions with a substantial probability of causing severe and enduring harm to the environment. The roots of ecocide go back to 1970, when biologist Arthur Galston linked environmental destruction to genocide during the Vietnam War. Swedish Prime Minister Olaf Palm later echoed this concern at the United Nations. In 2010, a British lawyer pushed for the UN's International Criminal Court, ICC, to recognize ecocide as an international crime. A recent UN-backed report laid bare the extent of damage to biodiversity. It revealed that one million species are at risk of extinction due to human activities, including resource extraction, deforestation, and pollution. Now let's focus on India. It hasn't taken an official stance on international ecocide proposals, but has ratified various environmental treaties. The term ecocide has appeared in Indian court cases but hasn't been formally defined in the law. Supporters argue that criminalizing ecocide protects the environment as an intrinsic value, ensures intergenerational justice, complements climate change mitigation, and promotes global recognition and action against environmental crimes. Opponents worry about conflicts with development goals, sovereignty issues, chilling effects on scientific research, and the efficacy and enforcement challenges of such laws. Regardless of ecocide's legal status, environmental protection must remain paramount. Introducing ecological restoration bonds can hold companies accountable, and mandatory environmental education can empower citizens to be stewards of the environment. As we navigate the complex terrain of ecocide, our collective responsibility to safeguard the environment remains unwavering. It's a path towards a greener, more sustainable future that we must all tread together. Thanks for joining us.